shadows of Valencia last time I really don't want to talk about because every time I think about the map I get really pissed off but I think the most the, the thing that pissed me off most about it is without that one rotten bit it would have been such a good map everything of that map except for the one thing was so good but that one thing one tiny little addition ruins it tremendously but Moving on, forgetting all that exists, um, we just, uh, on Ohm's side, that is, we took on Nui Baba and Tatia Tatiana, yeah, I was like, we recruited someone, I don't remember her name, it's something strange, Tatiana, who is a unit I never used in Gaiden, uh, I've, I've went over a few times, I, I fucked over the, the recruitment, went this way out of curiosity, and if you go here to the battle we're going to do today, uh, Nui Baba kills Tatiana. Uh, and I'll kind of explain why here in a bit if Zeke doesn't himself. But let's go see Ze who What are we What are we fighting? What, what is the place? Right, just the Rigel Plains. Okay. Let's see. It's Zeke and something with a J. I don't remember the name. Jerome, sir, my report. The Deliverance forces will reach these plains momentarily. <laughs> so, the peasants made it here after all. Bring me Ezekiel. I'm here, sir. You have need of me? The Zophian rabble will be upon us in due time. Prepare to intercept them. And mind your allegiances wisely. If I smell even a whiff of betrayal, you know what will happen. <laughs> All right, so I like that. So Jerome is his name. I knew it started with a J. He also has that like pencil thin mustache, looking nice and like an asshole. Um, but it's just like another one of these maps. Uh. Has the water always looked like this? All reflecty? I know there have been other maps with water, but this water is like tripping me out for some reason. And I don't know if I'm just now noticing now in Act 4 that water looks like this in this game. Either way. Uh, uh, Jerome, gold mark, okay. Uh, 23 attack, decently formidable, and Zeke. So, two things. Zeke's voice, I was just like, holy shit, who is your voice actor? I would really, I, I would really like to know, um, because he sounded very familiar. Patrick Sates? What do I know you from? Because that's his face and name. Well, I mean, he's Hector in Fire Emblem Heroes, which is kind of cool. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that more. But I do want to know... Because, I, I, I mean, Zeke, he's, he's recruitable. Um, I just need to know how. Okay... Just says, talk to him after the map. So, I guess that means... Or is it... Am I allowed to fight him? I don't know. Hopefully I'm allowed to fight him. Or maybe I'll try and avoid him. I don't know. But, I did move around. I took all the items off of everyone and rearranged them. I mean, Alm still has the Royal Sword. Uh, but he actually got this Send Scale. Alm's ultimate art uh, to max out the royal sword weapon arts. It's plus 14 might and has a range of plus 2. <laughs> but costs 16 HP to use, but that sounds disgusting and I can't wait to use it. Uh, I gave Luthier the speed ring because he's fairly slow, so I thought, why not? Uh, Matilda has the Duma's Lance. Uh, Tobin with the steel bow still. Clive keeps dying to witches, so I gave him the Hexlock shield so he doesn't die. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Faye with the prayer ring. Um, because I thought, why not? It gives her miracle and recovery. Uh, Silk with the coral ring still. Python, I gave him the iron bow instead of the blessed bow. It just was working a lot better. Uh, Forsyth kept the royal shield. Uh, I gave Delthea the mage ring because I don't believe she ever gets thunder or sagitate. I can double check this. Yeah, she never gets thunder or sagitate. So without the mage ring, she would never have any magic that is more than two range. So giving her the mage ring increases that, which will be nice, especially with how good she is. Uh, Gray is keeping the lightning sword. Uh, his attack is higher than the lightning sword, but I. I thought it would be nice to have the ranged sword user, even if it's, you know, less damage. It's also based on res damage, which is pretty solid. Uh, Lucas with the Iron Lance, I kept that. Cliff, I had keep the Steel Shield. I gave Tatiana the Blessed Shield, because I really don't know much about her, so I just threw that on her. Why not? Her defense is three, so... <laughs> and I gave Claire the Rider's Bane. Um, but let's, let's start the battle. And see what we got going on. Think, it's you, Tatiana. But how? I was saved by the deliverance. Do you know what this means? It means you don't have to heed another word Jerome says. Thank you, Tatiana. Now you have saved me as well. Men, set your sights on the target. We march on Jerome's army. Prepare to attack. You dare? I didn't think you fool enough to betray me, Ezekiel. You know what fate awaits the girl now that she's free. And now so am I. You've ground the people here under heel and threatened my love. Prepare to answer for your crimes. That was so cool! Oh, oh my god. I was not expecting that. So... Zeke's kind of backstory, for the most part. I, I don't know if I want to say the entire backstory, just because I don't know when or where I would say it in-game. But essentially, Zeke is out here, um, being forced to work for Ragel. Uh, oh, we got some supports unlocked, okay. Forced to work for Ragel because his lover, Tatiana, has been used as leverage, a hostage, uh, against him. And so, by going left first, right, uh, instead of going up to Nui Baba and re uh, recruiting Tatiana, we come in here, we fight them, they all die. And because they no longer, you know, Zeke... Zeke's only, you know, or rather, Tatiana's only use was to keep Zeke in check. They no longer have any use for Tatiana, so they have Nui Baba kill her. So that's two recruits just gone. You kill, you kill Zeke, and then they kill Tatiana. Um, okay, let's go here, and then Luthier. So we'll get, I think they're B support? Let's see. Delphia. Hum -de -dum -de -do. Young lady, it is rude to ignore people. No, it's rude to ignore nice people. So you don't count. Of course I count. Everyone counts. Ah, <sighs> Delphia, listen to me. I don't give you these lectures because I hate you. Well, you could have fooled me because you never say anything nice. You know better than anyone how I was born with a gift. All that natural talent. And yet you still want me to defer to everyone else. It's not my fault they work twice as hard and only end up half as good. I mean, I'm risking my life out here too, you know. Well, I suppose that's true. But people will soon begin to resent you if you carry yourself in such a manner. I want you to be loved by all. Yeah, because you're just the model of popularity around here. <sighs> Maybe you should try worrying about how you carry yourself for a change. <sighs> <laughs> I like Delthea's sass. She is she is pretty good. Uh, let's get Clive and Matilda's 
support going. I think this is their A support? I think this is their A support. Ah, uh, Clive. Matilda, what grieves you? You look so sad. Where hides your lovely smile? It's your sister. She claims I was showing you up on the battlefield, that it was unbecoming. This conversation set my mind a whirl. On the battlefield, man and woman are equals, judged by skill alone. But you are to be my lord husband. It was never my wish to diminish you or bring you shame. My sister is the one who should be ashamed. Such an old-fashioned idea. I will never be your lord, and your exploits bring me not but pride. If I want to outshine you, then I must earn it by my own hand. Don't you dare change. I love you exactly as you are. And here I thought I could never love you more. Now get back out there and have at those dastards, you wild Valkyrie. Ah, oh, it does my heart good to hear those words. Now stand back while I unleash the seven hells upon these pitiful fools! <laughs> the seven hells. I like that line. There's support. I don't- I guess I didn't really expect it to be so, like, lovey-dovey. I- I don't know, it's- it's... Slightly off-putting. But, Tatiana, our newest unit here. Let's see... So, I'm interested to see if she turns out good. Um... Her growths, honestly, aren't too bad. Like, her lowest is luck, which at the end of the day... Oh, no, I take that her lowest is HP. I mean, barring res, of course. Um, 30 HP, 35 luck. But 50 attack, 40... I mean, 40 skill is, is doable. Oh, defense is also 30. I didn't see that. But she has skill, speed... Or skill, speed, and attack, essentially. A little bit less on the speed side. But she has 10 base speed, which should help, you know, carry carry her weight a bit. 18 res, though. She just put her in front of every Arcanist and watch her go, I guess. Uh, but 3 defense. So if there's any physical unit anywhere around, sh she's dying. That was one of the reasons why I gave her the, the Blessed Shield, because I believe it gives plus 13 defense against a Terror. So, that'll be nice, especially against Gargoyles. Uh, but, as far as spells go, she starts with Physic and Nosferatu. Uh, at level 4, she gets Fortify. At level 7, she gets Invoke Pegasus? What? Wait, 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 okay, okay, pause, let me look, let me scroll down and look at Jenny, Jenny is, it just says invoke, but it's soldiers, which is what I just thought all invokes were, but no, Silk has invoke right now, she invokes dread fighters, it's invoke dread, she gets invoke pegasus, It'll just say invoke, but it's pay. Oh my god. That's insane. Okay. Uh, she also gets warp at level 8, and then on promotion, which I believe she is promoted right now. Uh, I could. I need to double check that. On promotion, she would get Seraphim. Which. Yeah. If she has. Yeah, Seraphim, Nosferatu, and, and Physic. So, in just a few levels. She'll invoke Pegasus, though. That's crazy. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Also, I, I just need to use the invoke on Silk now. I really want to see it. But I'm also assuming, you know, like, if the enemy can kill Zeke. You upstarts have brought death upon yourselves! Then we probably can't recruit him. <laughs> So we're in another one of these situations, I suppose. Okay. 
I need to see this. Insane. That is so cool. Holy shit. Because, like, yeah, it just says invoke. And the description just says summon illusory soldiers. Nothing out of the ordinary there. But no, they're not just soldiers. Oh. This one's mine. Good shit, Tobin. Okay. Um, I do need to highlight those two. Eh, I am in range. All right. Uh, let me get in the trees. In the trees for you. here recover all right I don't really expect a whole lot to happen this is honestly it feels like I'm just watching a map happen I mean granted all of everyone except for Zeke is getting just trounced right now These illusory dread fighters. I want to look at one. It's so cool. It's so cool. All right. Well, uh, let's do some damage with Duma's lance. Here, <clears throat> I mean the boss. Okay, their support is open. I knew it was open before Claire died, but I didn't know if it was erased um, after the fact. That's heavy draw. Thirty-nine percent chance to crit on top of it. If you don't get the crit. See what send scale looks like. So we're gonna lightning sword with gray there. <clears throat> Who doesn't love a strong man? That is a very good level. All right. What? Fucking moonlit blade out here. What was that? That was cool. What was this? I am a blue blood. A general. I'll not lose to such. Oh my god. I feel light on my feet today. Coaster stuck to the bottom of the cup. It is dripping condensation all over my pants. Fun. All right, so we got a gold mark. Uh, we'll have Python finish off this bow knight. Uh, and we have, so we have two physic users now. Oh hell yes. Let's physic Alm just just to be safe. And honestly, well, maybe not. Mm. I'm not gonna attack. 
I want more dread fighters. Not bad. That is so cool. All right. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do this because I don't want to put Claire in range of a bow. Although uh, I feel she could she could handle it. But let's get this uh, support underway. Hey, Claire. Mind if I tug on your ear for a sec? If that class phrase means you wish to speak with me, then please proceed. It's about your bro. You know, Clive? I really like him. He's so dashing. Plus, he's all cultured and stuff. Well, I can hardly blame you for having such refined tastes. <laughs> I adore my brother, and so I understand why you might be smitten with him. But I fear his heart belongs to Matilda. Ooh, Matilda. Gods, why do I even bother asking? <laughs> what is Delphia? Oh my god. I did not expect any of this from this girl. God. <laughs> All right, go, my dread fighters, go. All right, I want to see Tatiana in action. She will die. Uh, but she won't die if I go for Nosferatu. All right. Uh, Luthier. Give it to Faye. I need Faye to get her her last spell. It's the whole reason I made her into a cleric to begin with. Uh, okay, so there's I think just yeah one one unit left on the map. Oh wait, no. Do I? No, Cliff already moved. Well, I can do it this way. The bow almost kills. I go here. No. Well. Let's put him away. All right. That is so cool. Success. All right, battle complete. <laughs> we really took it to him. You must be Alm. Let me thank you again for helping Tatiana. We're happy to help, General. I heard you were opposed to this war. Will you lend us your strength? Not a man among us wishes this conflict to last any longer than it must. Hmm. I'm afraid I cannot offer you an answer here and now. There's a village a ways ahead. I'll await you there. Until then. Yeah, I... All right, Duma Incarnate Award, awarded for learning and using Alm's ultimate art. Nice. So it's strange he doesn't give us an answer here. Like, I don't get the point of... of him waiting for us to go to the village. Now, I do know this village is very supportive of Zeke. Uh, because, again, if you go the wrong way... I mean, wrong way. If you go and fight Zeke first... Uh, and y you kill him, the entire village is pissed off at you. Uh, but let's see, we got Cliff, Matilda, and Man. So let's just run down and see, uh, what they all want. 
So now we're at war with Regel. I meant to see the world, and now it seems I'm really seeing it. <laughs> I make it sound so grand, but honestly, I've just been running. I hated it in the village. My mother never thought of anyone but herself. I couldn't spend my life there. So now I've found all the excitement I longed for, plus a fair lot I didn't. But don't tell the others I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> Clive and I became close after enlisting in the Knights of Zofia. Our houses had cordial relations before that, but Claire wouldn't let me near her elder brother. On the battlefield, Clive was like some mythological hero. From the moment I saw him, I knew my heart was his. And for all his toughness, when the two of us are alone, he can be quite... Well, that is none of your concern. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, look who's here! Welcome! You don't have to feel uncomfortable. I don't care what land you hail from. You got rid of that rotten Jerome, and that makes you a hero around here. He and Nui Baba from up Fear Mountain have caused us nothing but suffering. And who came to our aid? Not the Emperor, nor the Duma Faithful. The only one who fought for us was General Ezekiel. Doesn't matter who he was or where he's from, he's a good and noble man. Okay. Uh, bag of flour. Let's see. Appears to be it. Vineyards? Vineyards stretch out along gentle slopes. Alright. Uh, so we got house one, smithy, house two, and square. Let's just start from the closest one. House we one. Meet again, Alm. General Ezekiel, have you given any more consideration to what we spoke of before? <sighs> now that I have turned my lance on Jerome, Regel will not have me. But neither can I offer that lance to you. I still have no recollection of who I am, or from whence I came. You've lost your memory? I have. All I know is that I washed up on the shores of Regel grievously wounded. I was thrown in prison and accused of being a spy, or worse. But Emperor Rudolph saved me. He gave me a name and took me in. He raised me as a father would his own son. And yes, I may have betrayed him, but never would I help you do him harm. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Forgive me for asking so much of you. You are not in the wrong. <laughs> Alm, by the gods! What's wrong? Where did you get that mark on your left hand? What, this? I don't know, actually. I've just always had it. Is that so? Some time ago, Emperor Rudolph gave me what I thought was odd advice. He said that if I met a man with a mark on his left hand, I was to follow him. For that man is chosen, he said. He shall save all of Regel, and with it, all of Valentia. That's very strange. I agree. But now that I have met you, I must heed my Emperor's words. I am yours to command, my lord. Welcome aboard. So, Zeke washed aboard. He said raised, like he's been here since he was a kid. He was, well, to be fair, I don't know how old he was in Fire Emblem 1. But, Zeke is a man known as Camus from Fire Emblem 1, who, after Marth, you know, beats him up and takes his Gradivus, he disappears. Somehow... I, I don't actually know, like, where he goes from whenever he runs away, but he had a, he had a girl named Nina back in, in, uh, what, what do they call Arcanea? I think it's how they pronounce it in this game. Um, and then Tatiana is, well, not Nina, essentially. Uh, as he comes in, he's very, you know, like, I mean, he's a whole archetype. He's what Xander is. He's very... He's the camas archetype. He's very, like, rigid. Everything to appease his lord. If his lord says jump off a bridge, oh boy, he will do it. 
His lord says kill all of his friends and family. He will do it. Um, but yeah, he he's over here with amnesia, and then we just saw like everything else. He's been held prisoner, you know, with uh, Tatiana as leverage. Uh, examine. Give me that. And Tatiana is leverage. And, uh, yeah, now he's joining us. Garlic. Okay. Uh, anything else? Doesn't appear to be. Uh, so let's go to the square. We probably have the peddlers here, maybe? No? Okay. Scholarly man and young man. I got no love for Sophia, but I suppose I owe you a word of thanks anyway. Huh? Why do I hate Sophia? Cause I pour my blood and sweat into working this here barren land is why. You Zophians have Mila's blessing or bounty or whatever blasted thing it is. You eat your fill without working a day. Life's just one big party for you lot. Makes me sick, it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh wait, no, no, don't, don't auto. What, what did um? Here we go. Are you familiar with the delicacy sea called ambrosia? It's valuable stuff. Some even go so far as to call it the food of the gods. Some say Sage's Hamlet in Regal is the only place it's made. But I've studied the subject for years now, and I can say beyond a doubt that I've discovered the secret recipe for ambrosia. You can make it right now. Hmm? How about that? Is your stomach growling yet? I'm just missing a few ingredients. Yogurt, Duma Moss, and an orange. Bring me those three things, and I will whip up some legendary ambrosia. Duma Moss. I have not seen that item whatsoever. Okay. Try and keep that in mind. I'll probably forget, not gonna lie. But, if I get Duma Moss, I'm sure it'll remind me. Okay, so that's all that's there. Smithy. We can go steal the smithy's water. There's also a dude here. Uh, anything else to steal? Nope. Let's talk to... What? Have you seen a Draco Shield before? They offer, they offer physical blows, mitigate magic, and can even heal you. It just so happens that my family has forged these shields for generations. My grandfather even presented one to the Emperor himself. You can't make them without dragon scales, though. No, sir. And you know less than four dragon scales to make a proper Draco Shield. If you happen to find four, I want to try the, shields, the Shield of Shields. Come see me. I'll make you the finest Draco shield you ever did see. So, I've only seen one, and it, I don't even know if it's on Alm's side. No, I think it's on, on Celica's side. Interesting. So I wonder if they're a, like a drop similar to Bonewalker oil from Dragons, which will be easy enough to get soon. Uh, but let's talk to this blacksmith. Do one convert? No, not convert. Uh, trade in anything. We got the exotic spices. How many is that? How many gold? Nine. There's an achievement for having 10 gold on hand. Many thanks. Oh. What's wrong, Alm? You get some bad pottage in the mess tent again? Mm hmm. Oh. I was just wondering what this mark on my left hand really means. No surprise. What with Zeke's speech about saving Valentia and all. He shall save all of Regal and with it all of Valentia. <laughs> no pressure there. No kidding. Wait, you don't actually believe what he said, do you? What? No. No, I don't harbor any delusions of grandeur. But it's true that we're fighting to save Zofia, at the very least. So I got to wondering if that wasn't part of helping all Valentia. Huh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. In a messed up kind of way. Celica has one of those too, right? That mark? She... Yes, she does. So maybe you guys are destined to save the world together, or whatever. 
I mean, it has to be fate or something that the two of you met, right? Fate? I don't know about that, Gray. It's a coincidence for sure, but... Kidding! I was kidding! Sheesh, man. You're really starting to worry me here. If you don't laugh it off, it makes me sound like a lunatic for saying it. <laughs> Sorry. You're right. I'm not sure about the rest of it, but... Me and Celica meeting really could be fate. I'd like to believe it is, at any rate. Hmm. Interesting little dialogue there. But... Uh... Child of Fate, Servant of Milla, thank you for that. And that 14 gold! Now, does that immediately unlock the achievement? Or do achievements only unlock... I think they might only unlock after you play a map. So as long as I still have 10 after a map, we good. Uh, also, that Taurus shard. It's a thing from Fire Emblem 3. Um, but it increases everyone's growths by... Or not everyone. It increases whoever is holding its growths by 5%. So a little extra boost to uh, someone who levels up. Uh, and that, that's free to- Oh, hello? That is free DLC, by the way. Uh, that is the most recent Mila, whatever, Blessing, or whatever it was called. Uh, so let's see. Might as well max out the Royal Sword. Takes might from 6 to 10. 100% hit rate. 15 crit. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Duma's Lance. He's 2 and 150. Okay. Ooh, a steel shield, okay. Do we have anything else? I think that was the only rusted thing we had at the moment. Um... Rider's Bane, Lightning Sword, it needs three, wow. Shadow Sword, we are, well, no. And we know the Brave Sword turns into a Rapier, but the Shadow Sword, does this turn into a Brave Sword? Many thanks. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna save, because I, I, I don't want to look these up or know. Like, I'll, I'll look them up all, like, after I beat the game. Um, but as far as, like, current, you know, things currently, I want to find out, like, all the weapon forges Welcome. on, just on my own. Uh... So that's a brave sword. See, the problem is, we have, like, no sword users. Um... We have gray. Many thanks. That's really- that's- that's it. Zeke uses lances. And our final recruit- I think final, I think there's one more. Yeah, there's one more recruit. Also doesn't use a sword. Hmm. Could give it to, like, Delphi- Well, no, no. Majoring is more important, honestly. Well, it's there, I suppose. I'm, I was debating whether or not Welcome. to reset. I mean, that's 50 silver. That's, like, all my silver. Uh, whereas I could have increased, like, the Duma's Lance to plus one, which would give it... One might, five hit. Uh, can increase the iron bow more, right? Uh huh. The steel bow. Is that a law? Yeah, 
has really low might. But, uh... I think I'm gonna use that. Well, well... We go from two might... I'm, I'm gonna reset real fast. You go from... Was it like eight might to two might? And Tobin was a decent damage dealer. The long bow might not be worth it. Hmm. Because I know it adds range. Which... Range is always nice. But... Where are you? Yeah, 8 might down to 2 might. I don't know. Also, I don't think I'm gonna reforge that... That Brave Sword. I mean, I could send it over to Celica or something, I suppose. Well, if I find uh, another place to send things. I don't know, I think just the Royal Sword... Unless there's something else. Let me just double check anything else that happens to catch my eye. Um, less, no. Oh, I could upgrade the Iron Bow. I'll, I'll do that. Alright. Many thanks. Uh, let's check out House 2. Examine. We got some drinking water. Uh, and that's really it. And young woman, old timer. Are you all headed to Regal Castle? I see, I see. Perhaps that's best for His Excellency as well. But the mountain ahead is cursed with a blight of fell beasts. Necro dragons spawn there without end. Or so the travelers say. Even if you've the luck to elude them, eruptions often bury the path in stone. Funny that you should mention that, old man. I definitely don't know anything about any of that. Let's talk to the young woman. Says he has no memory of his past. Tatiana found him washed up ashore one day, badly wounded. She was nursing him back to health when... Well, you've seen his face. It wasn't a fortnight before she was in love. Don't suppose I can blame her. <laughs> Alright. Well... That's it for the village. Uh, real quick though, because I will forget otherwise, I'm very good at forgetting. We did pick up, ooh, it's one for them. Good, good, good. We did pick up a memory prism and Tatiana is the little sprite marker. So, assumably, or presumably it'd be for Tatiana and Zeke. So, Drifter from a Distant Land. Another day of fine weather. I love stretching my legs in the morning. Perhaps I'll gather some shells. Huh? <sighs> ah! Who's there? Oh, he appears badly wounded. Is he dead? <sighs> He's alive. Are you all right? Stay with me. Nina. Huh? Is that someone's name? Uh, what am I doing? I need to go get help before he keels over. I'll be right back. You just hold on. Where am I? You're awake. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were dead for sure. I found you collapsed by the shore earlier. You were gravely injured. Who are you? My name is Tatiana. I work here at the church. What's your name? I... Uh, my name is... Yes? I cannot remember. Who am I? From whence did I come? These things are a mystery to me. Oh, goodness. You're one of those types. I apologize for the trouble. It's all right. It seems as if everyone's losing their memory in these times. Still, 
How are we going to inform your family that you're safe? They must be worried sick. <sighs> oh, yes, I... That is to say... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you something else to fret over. I'm sure we'll get it all worked out. You should rest in the meantime. Yes. Rest. You'll be alright. I know you will. I'm taking care of you now, after all. You would... do that? It would be my honor. You can stay here as long as you like, even after you get better. Of course, once you're on your feet, there's cleaning to do, wood to chop... But your only job right now is to heal. Why are you being so kind to me? What am I to you but a stranger? Another gaping maw to feed. I wasn't aware kindness needed an explanation beyond itself. When someone is in trouble, you help them. That's common decency. And from the moment I saw you, I knew I couldn't leave you. What? W well, I could see you were hurting. And, um, not just on the surface. <sighs> Oops, ugh, I really need to stop laying on the misery. Sorry again, but I am here to help you. I mean it. So lean on me and let me be your crutch for as long as it takes. Thank you, Tatiana. They even... I, I went over the Nina thing before, but that they mentioned it too. Like the first thing he like mumbles is... He, she finds him on the on the shore as Nina. That was really cool. That was really cool. This whole like little escapade with with Zeke and whatnot has been really well done. I like it. Uh, but that's gonna do it for us today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye.